So Team Lip, Team Stay Fresh. Let's see how they do. Here we go, Black Shrike and Jazzy on the kickoff. Automatic. This it already looks like chaos coming into our first game, into the first um, few seconds. Jazzy now taking full possession. Tries to beat out bait out next. He does. And now it's back to Black Strike. Envoy now. With possession. Wins the 50 towards the target. Then Black Strike clears it away. Jazzy. Hits the ball forward. Over to Nex. Now back to Envoy. So far, it's a lot of back and forth right now, just as we saw at the beginning of the first series last time. A lot, just a lot of ping pong, just hitting it back and forth, no real control. It looks as if the teams are trying to feel each other out. Like, get a feel for what they can and can't do. Yeah. And I stand corrected. Here we go, um, Swift off a pass from Envoy. Let's look at this again. Envoy hits the ball off the backboard and gets the pass in an awkward situation just for Swift to just be able to double jump up and tap the ball in on target. So far, teams stay fresh, are doing really well as next clears the ball down the field. And I got back to Envoy. Envoy. Leaves for his teammate there. Jazzy isn't able to follow it up though, and now team and now team Lip are able to take possession. But just as we saw from the last series, Revenge GG when they had complete possession. Now we're seeing Team Stay Fresh with complete possession, as now they're already up two to zero. And that is another passing play between Envoy and Swift, reminiscent of Rexo and Creamy of the prior match. If you were watching. Here we go, Sorius now takes possession, clears the ball towards the side, but Swift intercepts it easily back to Envoy. Actually, Swift takes the shot on target, but saved away by Nex. Jazzy keeps possession, runs out of boost though, and now Black Strike will hit the ball down the field. Envoy with possession, free flips it forward over to Swift. Swift tries to get the flipper set, tries to put it on target, doesn't have the flip. And now Jazzy will have to take possession. He isn't able to get the win the 50. Here's a chance for Black Strike, he puts it straight on target. He's not missing those. And there we go, now we're back to a one goal game. And this may be the first double tap we've seen uh, across the stream today. And this is simple, but it worked wonders as they are as they scored their first goal. Swift and Envoy are just controlling the ball with yeah. now black strike takes control and here we go back up team stay fresh still with present with possession back over to black strike now black strike showing the real the only real possession is possession right now here we go that's gonna be a missed shot there by next really a powerful shot but still no accuracy Envoy blocks that shot. Here we go, Sorius now with possession, hits the ball forward. Back over to Swift, Swift takes possession now. He tries to hit the ball towards the backboard. It was a low hit and now next will just be able to take control. He loses the 50 though, and now Sorius will have to take right back possession. Envoy with the pass towards the middle, shot by Swift, and that's gonna be straight into the target now with a 3-1 lead. Envoy with the playmaker, Swift with the hat trick. This duo right now seems unstoppable. Um, so far, we got Black Strike. Hits the ball towards the side. Um, and just as we're hitting a bit more of a neutral period, um, for these first two semifinals, I, Luke, from Havoc Esports, one of the sponsors, I'm casting um, in the semifinals here with Flurkin. Um, Jasper will be casting either the third place tiebreaker or um, 
finals along with I believe me so if you guys are waiting for him he will be during those um, he will be during those series but here we go Sorius now wins the 50 here for his team but still a minute minute 20 seconds left here as Blackstrike tries to make another solo goal but next follows it up off the crossbar in the ground but Blackstrike follows it up Black Strike so far, he's been a mechanical monster throughout this entire series. If we look, he's been doing almost all of the offense for his team here. Just letting his teammates ball chase, and then he clums and cleans it up. Everybody in chat, as we're winding down with our first game, who do you guys want to win? Um, do you guys want either Team Stay Fresh, or do you guys want Team Lip to win? I want to know your guys' opinions. Next now takes possession. Sorry, is going for a demo. And next now gets the tying goal. 50 seconds left. Team Lip tie the game. Next really is a jack of all trades. If you look at his score sheet, he has two assists both to Black Strike, his own solo play, as well as four saves. Here we go, Next clears the ball down the field. Next again with the fake challenge, flicks it over one. Next now showing some mechanical brilliance. Let's look at this once again. Next hits it off the sidewall so they don't challenge him. Fake challenges it over the past the one guy and then flicks it over both in an awkward position. That takes a lot of control and even if he can't do this every play, just being able to do it in one play and get the lead, that's what counts. This is where it matters. Whoever wins this is guaranteed a cash prize. So both teams right now really want to win this series. They do not want to go to that third place tiebreaker. Black Strike gets the ball forward. Back to Next. Next hits the ball and now gets saved away but to sw by Swift. Jazzy with the pre-flip. Now he stays behind it. They're just trying to get the ball off. Swift actually ball chases. That's going to be really bad here for Team Stay Fresh as Nyx gets the read on Envoy. And that's going to be a 5-3 lead. This went from 3-0 to 5-3 really quickly. Compared to the first two and a half minutes of this game, Team Lip are looking a lot more confident in both their passing plays. And overall, they're looking more confident as a team. As this game is now winding down, and it looks like this game is all but over, um, Team team Lip, with probably the best comeback of the entire tournament so far, at least that's what's in stream, they get another goal. That's a 6-3 lead. They get their own playmaker. And now Nex, really showing up now. Nex with a hat trick and playmaker, four saves and six shots. If there is such thing as MVP of a tournament, if Team Lip can win this game, I would that would be my nominee right there just from this game alone. I mean, he really did have such a fantastic game. Like you don't see that you don't see many players having the offense presence as well as such a defensive presence that he did. We had two hat tricks in this series. We already have two playmakers and we already have one savior medal what more can we ask for so far um team stay fresh making a few jokes in chat saying they're playing the real crossbar cup already hitting two crossbars we'll see if uh team stay fresh can match those two crossbars in this coming match Okay, Lip now with the lead so far in the series. Let's see what they can do. They're going to have to try to make a real stand here on the kickoff. But we saw last game, they went up 3-0. And now, so far, team stay fresh. Not able to keep up the pressure they were getting in the first two games. It seems like they were thriving in the chaos, but now that both teams are starting to warm up into the series, it seems like Team Lip are actually the more consistent team here. Blackstrike over to Sorius, and Sorius with possession, flicks the ball on target. Miss save by Team Stay Fresh. And let's look at the shot again. Blackstrike down to Sorius. Sorius takes his time, flicks it over Swift, who tried to do a squishy save off the ceiling of the goal. And that was such a great pass by Blackstrike, too. It landed right where it needed to. 
for Sorius to have that good shot. Here comes Swift, pass it over to Envoy, but now Next takes complete possession. Let's see some of that. Oh, I guess we're not going to be see something that mechanical brilliance, as he wasn't able to control that air dribble. Now it's over to Sorius. Sorius 50s it, and now it's going to be all the way back towards um, um, lip side of the field. But next, clears the right back to Envoy. Envoy takes possession, hits the ball off the side. Welcome to his team follow it up. No, Black Strike clears down the field. We saw at the beginning of the last game it was Black Strike with mechanical brilliance, but now we're really seeing Sorius um, start to put in some play. Next, the end of the last game, Black Strike, the beginning of the first of uh, last game. Now we're seeing Sorius really doing a lot of pressure here at the beginning of um, the second game. I feel like the entirety of Team Lip has their moments of mechanical brilliance. They all seem like very mechanically sound players, and they've all been given their moments to really show all the audience what they can do. Almost an amazing solo play there by Nex. Black Strike isn't able to stuff the ball in. And now back over to Sori. Sori has passed the ball across. Envoy clears it away. Now it's over to Swift. Swift now to Black Strike. Black Strike could. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Jazzy clears the ball down the field. Next intercepts and it goes over to Envoy. Envoy runs out of boost and clears it away. Envoy hits the ball off the backboard. Easily cleared by um, Sorius. Now up to Black Strike. Black Strike gets the flip reset, isn't able to follow it, and that's going to be a clear by Swift. Next pops towards the backboard, but Jazzy easily gets a save off his own backboard. And now it's over to Black Strike. Put the pass across. Next fake challenges it, still has possession. Accidentally backflips, and that's going to be a possession um, change there. And Swift now to... clears the ball down the field. Over to Nex. Nex back to Black Strike. Black Strike isn't able to follow it up, and then Jazzy clears it away. Similar to last series, Team Stay Fresh is looking to be that wall, as they already have four saves against Black uh, Team Lips onslaught so far. Aside from that first goal. And um, that is true. Um, as we're seeing, but like right now, if they're not able to score, all this defense is for not. As they're already down one goal, and I'm really sure the team lip will be really happy to continue just playing offense. I agree with that. And they have I shown that though from Team Lip there. Here's a chance for Team Stay Fresh, but it gets blocked away by Black Strike. Envoy runs out of boost, puts a shot on target though, and it gets saved away by Sorius. Now we're seeing some offense here from Team Stay Fresh, as the last time we saw offense from them was the beginning of last game with their first three goals. And Envoy and Swift have not seemed to slow down in that department. They are consistently trying for passing plays, as those worked extremely well in the first game. Here we go, over to Swift. Swift takes possession, gets cleared away by Nex. Jazzy now with possession. Just taking control on his own backboard. He's showing a lot of patience despite them being down 1-0. That's really good for him. from him. Now it's over to Sorius with possession. Cleared away. Now Nex takes possession. He was the hero of last game. Leaves it for Sorius. Sorius now, the hero of this game, trying to hit the ball into the corner. Um, and Envoy clears it away. Nex is really, has really showed up so far in this series as both an offensive and a defensive player. It may not show it on the scoreboard, but he really is in the perfect position 99% of the time. Here we go, we got Swift taking possession over to Envoy. Envoy now taking complete possession of the ball, wins a 50-50. Back over to Envoy, back to Jazzy. Here's a chance, they have to score right now to tie up the game. Swift off the backboard. Missed by Nix. Here comes a chance for Envoy, pops it off the backboard again. Jazzy with the follow, and that's a goal! Zero second goal! We are going into overtime in game two. This is something I did not expect. I didn't expect it either. There was barely any pressure from Team Stay Fresh the entire game, and at zero seconds, they managed to strip a passing play together to try and tie up the game. Remember, whoever wins 
Right now, Team Stay Fresh are trying to win this, so they're not on two match points. But Team Lip are also trying to do this because if they lose this game after that huge comeback and taking the lead and a zero second goal with all those factors colliding in on each other, you have to wonder if their mental game will stand up. Their mental game is probably at a good point right now since they had such a good comeback last game. And this would definitely hurt it, but I think they'd be okay. I haven't seen these players in tournaments before, so I wouldn't be able to see their overall progression. But just due to the fact that um, Team Staylip have been go have been getting have gotten to the semifinals off of sweeps, they may not be ready for a longer series, especially if. Um, if it comes down to they do so well in the first game by coming back and then losing a game that they should have won at it with it because of a zero second goal. But hopefully their mental um, image stands up. I, I just, just received word that Lip is actually playing with the sub and they're doing this well. So um, good job to Lip right now. Uh, I'll try to see who is the stand in. Farm lip real soon. Sorius is standing in for Team Lip currently. Yeah, we just got that information there from our tournament admin. Good to see Sorius play so well, even as the stand in, as their team are just trying, are just blazing on offense, just trying to put shot after shot on target. But that defense we were talking about, that um, Team Ruthless Unity had last series is now show being really apparent here for um, Team Stay Fresh. Both of these teams are trying not to yield any ground. There haven't been any real plays yet. It's just been some power shots that are easily savable and then other clears that go towards the net. Yeah, we've gone back to ping pong. Look at this, Swift. Wait, actually, we're seeing a passing play. That's going to be a tied series. Here is the nightmare for Team Lip. Team Lip, after a great comeback last series, now have lost the next game due to a zero-second goal and an OT goal. So hopefully Team Lip's mentality stay in the game. But um, after that, who knows what's going to happen with their team. They are playing with a stand-in, so that may mean their mentality is either more carefree or more tense, because they might believe that they can easily win this series. And Team Swift had, I mean, Team Stay Fresh had nine total saves that game. Three for each team. That's a play, that's a that's a savior medal for each player on that team, whereas um, Team Lip barely having a savior medal with two with all three players combined um, but hopefully getting into our game three here we'll be seeing a lot more uniform game game three is usually where everybody plays their most solid maybe it'll be like our last series where every match ends in an overtime apparently our server went down for maintenance so we'll be getting right back into game three here real shortly. But we are back in the lobby here as all the teams have now joined. So once the graphic of this, now it's off. There we go. Um, and now next, easily winning the kickoff. Now it's over to Envoy. Already tons of pressure here. You can see that a lot when there's a longer break. For some reason, both teams kind of reset to if it's the first game, and they'll start putting a lot of pressure on the board right away. And it looks like Swift and Envoy, again, along with Jazzy, are hitting the corners. They've been doing that for most of their games, passing it from the corners to the center of the field, which is where most of the goals came from in the first two games. Yeah, um, you'll notice this a lot, that um, a lot of the lower... Oh, there we go, Envoy with a great ground clear over the, other, over the other team. Let's look at this once again. Envoy hits it off the sidewall with a great interception, and then with the half fall, he clears it over next. Great goal there by Envoy. 
But yeah, as I was saying, you'll see with a lot of um, if you look at RLCS, the teams that aren't to like aren't like the top four um, in either EU or North America, you'll notice a lot of them could just go straight into the corner and then try to make something out of it. That's not usually a good play because especially you'll know this if you play one v one. If you hit the ball into the offensive corner, it's usually just a dead ball for you, as the defense will will win pretty much any 50 that you try to do in the corner. So it's usually um, not a great idea to go for, to hit the ball into the offensive corner. And what a save by Swift. That ball was heading right into the goal, and I believe part of it was in the goal. Here we go, passing play from Team Stay Fresh. They did really well with that passing play so far, but Blackstrike just takes possession and it hits, gets the passing play straight to Sorius and back to him. So that was a really good counter passing play right after the first passing play by his Team Stay Fresh. Here we go, Swift now taking possession into the corner, hits the ball down the field. Next now, taking possession, hits the ball forward. Jazzy hits the ball off the backboard. Sorius what follows it up off the top of his own goal. Really good play there by Sorius, the sub. Now gets cleared right back down the field, right, right back to ping pong, the game that all of us know and hate because no one likes ping pong unless you actually want, unless you actually play ping pong. We're playing, talking about Rocket League here. We want to see some individual mechanics. There we go. We get to see a goal here from Jazzy. That's going to be a 2-0 lead. I believe this is Jazzy's first goal of the series, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I don't recollect seeing his name before on the scoreboard, as I believe um, in the first game, the playmaker and um, goals were all done by Envoy and Swift. So seeing Jazzy get on the board now is really good for them, as now all three of them are really popping off. And again, that last goal was another passing play by Team Stay Fresh. This just shows how well they've they've really refined their way their, their passing plays and it shows oh here we go the sub Sorius out of nowhere getting a pass from next let's look at this play once again um next hits the ball off the backboard no one's on the backboard envoy can't get the read and Sorius puts the ball straight on the on target those backboard reads from the ground are always the hardest, and you're seeing a lot more um, calculated play here from Team Lip as they are putting the ball in open space, and then a player is there in the open space to put the ball in. And this ball is just booming all around the playing field right now. We are back to ping pong current. Here we go next, hits the, pops the ball up with Envoy. That's gonna be a neutral 50. Now Jazzy takes possession. He's not gonna be able to get a double tap here and Sorius takes possession. Sorius also winning the 50, but next isn't able to follow it up as out of boost. So he has to leave for Sorius. Sorius gets bumped. He's gonna be a chance for Jazzy, but it's off target. And the ball will go right back into the corner or into neutral territory. Pass down from an Envoy on target by Swift, saved away by Sorius. Sorius is being a really standout player this match for his team. I think that, oh, I personally at least, that Team Lip practices with Sorius just as much as their main player because they have this chemistry with him as well that just really shows. It doesn't look like see. he's playing like a sub at all. That right there with Sorius, he's like that play all came down from Sorius trusting his teammates, being in the right position for his teammates, and then putting a hard shot on target for Black Strike to be able to clean it up. So that was a really good play there by Sorius. You have to wonder if this is their sub, who is their main? Because their main has to probably be a really good player. Has to be a really good player. Sorius has the ball forward. Do we know if their sub was playing for this entire tournament? Apparently, Sorius has been playing the entire tournament too, so they've been getting past um, all the good teams in this tournament so far with their subs. So if they can get to the finals, I think they'd be happy just with that form. But if they can play this well with Sorius, then why not take the whole take the whole um, tournament? I personally want to see a match between Team Lip 
and Revenge should both have super standout players, and it would be such an incredible match to watch. Yeah, and I honestly want to see... Oh, here we go. We might be able to see it. Sorius now gets the goal for Team Lip. Team Lip might be able to go up 2-1 in the series, unless they get scored on in zero seconds again. Um... And that if that suck. happens, I, like Team Lip's mentality is probably going to get destroyed if they get scored on at zero seconds once again. Well, I think it would only be destroyed in, if they lose in the ensuing overtime. Here we go. Envoy puts the ball off the post. Follow up by Swift. Cleared away by Sorius. Sorius, the sub, clears the ball away. Saves us from the game. The ball's in the middle. Envoy keeps it up. But he has, he's going to have to clear it all the way across the field. Jossie isn't able to get the read. That's going to be a second game win for Team Lip. And we're going on to game four. Everybody in chat, who do you think is going to win this series? Team Lip or Team Stay Fresh? Put who you guys think are going to win in the chat. And we are just about to head into game four. This could be the end of the road for Team Stay Fresh or pass to finals for Team Lip, depending on how it turns out. Here we go. Getting into game four. Team Lip taking the series lead two to one. Here comes Swift. Isn't able to do much of that ball. Black Strike almost just forces it in. Envoy manages to help out his team there and clears it all the way down the field. Follow up by Swift over to Jazzy. Jazzy isn't able to put a shot on target, but Envoy does. That's going to be a first goal. Does team stay fresh? Look at that. Swift over to Jazzy. Jazzy manages to get a really good 50 50, and then Envoy is just able to get a free shot on an empty net. Here we go. Everybody are some people are already saying that Lip is going to win this series, which to be honest, they are looking like the more consistent team. But consistency doesn't matter if they can't um, string a few plays together. I mean, you're only 30 seconds in, so there's plenty of time for Lip to string something together. They've had some chances throughout the entire game, but they've been relying a lot on solo plays. Only a few passing plays are actually occurring. And then even with those passing plays, not a lot of shots actually being put on target. There we go, passing play from Sorius, but Black Strike not able to put a strong shot on target. Black Strike now in possession, pops the ball into the corner. Swift not able to read it, and that goes back to Sorius. Sorius isn't able to get possession once again and now it goes back to black strike swift yeah, now with possession sorius intercepts see what envoy is going to do here sorius is waiting for the clearance he's just clears it right into sorius but jazzy manages to help out his team and clears the ball all the way down the field just for next to intercept it once again this is starting to look more like general ping pong oh sorius gets a goal for team life and that ties up the game there we go, the ping pong ended, and Team Lip come out victorious. They were on offense for a solid 30 seconds there, maybe even more. Just able to keep possession and just read what Team Stay Fresh is doing. Stay Fresh are looking really nervous, not wanting to take possession whenever they have time with the ball. And there's a boomer down the field towards Sorius. I just wanted to say as we're in a bit more of a neutral game at this moment, thank you to once again to our sponsors. Thank you to Jasper, the tournament host and tournament admin for running this whole thing. Um, thanks to our other caster, um, Flurkin, for all that he's done. Um, this tournament couldn't be run without the help of all the wonderful volunteers in our community. And hopefully um, this continues to be a self-sufficient bi-weekly tournament. And speaking of Jasper, if any of you came to this stream hoping to hear from him, he will be casting the next two games with Luke. Yes, he will. So if you guys know Jasper from his main um, individual stream, you'll be able to see him against with 
with Team Revenge, which I hope to really see that final real soon here, but we do got the third place um, tiebreaker first. But I guess even before that, we got to see who wins this series. So here we go. Swift clears the ball down the field. Intercepted by Nex. Nex now with possession, went, neutralized the 50, but Jazzy will manage to get possession. He passes it towards the middle over to Envoy. Envoy isn't able to put a strong shot on target. Now Nex takes the individual possession. He balls one, shoots it on target. Jazzy gets the last second save, and he gets the clear as well. Great play there by Jazzy. Team Thank Lip here still have possession as um, Sorius clears the ball back down the field. Um, but so far, stay fresh. They aren't able to keep consistent pressure, but they are able to put strong, scary shots on Team Lip's net. Stay fresh are also showing that they really do know how to, oh, an extra score. But like I was saying, Team Stay Fresh know how to work as a team, like we've seen with their passing plays. They've connected. Right now, we're seeing a lot of passing plays right now from Team Lip with Sorius off the backboard, um, passing it down to Black Strike, who hits it off the sidewall just for a next to have an empty net. We're seeing a lot more passes being strung about by Team Black Strike, and if it is Team, sorry, Team Lip. Lip versus Revenge is going to be a really fun series if we get to see that. But Team Stay Fresh, they are holding in here. Right now they are looking like the underdogs, not being able to take control of the ball whenever they have time. Just looking overall a bit more nervous. Here we go, Sorius, free shot on target, puts it in the bottom right corner. Team Lip look like they're going to win the series. They just have to keep this two goal lead for 60 seconds. And I feel like Team Stay Fresh would need to score very shortly after this kickoff if they want a fighting chance to stay in this game. Here you go, Swift isn't able to stuff it in the last in the last second. Next managed to come back. Now next takes complete possession. Next, the hero of game one. Now is it gonna be the hero of the entire series as he's just trying to waste time here for his team. Now Black Strike isn't able to fake the fake the player off the ball. And Sorius keeps the ball on offense. 40 seconds left. Team Stay Fresh are gonna have to score real soon here, probably in the next 10 seconds or so. Envoy pops the ball to the sidewall. Less than half a minute to go. Thank you once again to, um, sorry, our, this sponsor isn't listed on Liquipedia, but thank you to MKC um, for sponsoring the music provided in this tournament. Um, Royalty free music. Thank you to him and um, all his people as well and Cloudger as well. Sorry, I don't have this in front of me. I'm just trying to get the information as I can. Um, but here we go. Swift now. Well, it's a 4-1 lead right now, so it looks like Team Lip are going on to your grand finals and Team Stay Fresh versus Team Ruthless Unity will be up next. This was an exciting match to watch. I am really looking forward to the finals. I'm looking forward to the third place tiebreaker and um, and the grand finals because we got the teams who are most similar in play style going against each other.